Hey folks, this is Dr. Timothy Lineski with LC Rheumatology, coming to you from the fine highways of Kentucky, heading to Bowling Green. So I was asked to talk about polymyalgia rheumatica, uh, also called PMR. Uh, PMR is a disease of the elderly. Uh, it affects people, generally the average age is about 70 years old. Uh, if you're reading textbooks, it'll say, oh, it can happen to you when you're 50. I generally find if you find somebody in their 50s and they have a diagnosis of PMR, PMR you got the wrong diagnosis. You gotta look a little bit harder. So uh, PMR has a couple of classical things that happen with it. Number one, it can be a sudden onset, affects your shoulders and your hips. Uh, this uh, can occur in which people can't get out of bed and it's a new onset. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, it help, affects the elderly, like we said. And number three, it responds very quickly to steroids or prednisone. Usually about 10, to 15, or even 20 milligrams people get put on. And usually they respond after one or two doses. Um, one of the keys for uh, PMR is some of us kind of call it... Uh, you know, a cousin or a sister of rheumatoid arthritis in the elderly. You know, the um, the one thing you got to do whenever you have it, though, is you got to make sure you do all the serologies and everything else uh, for other diseases, most notably rheumatoid arthritis. What I kind of find is that a lot of people will get a diagnosis of uh, PMR. I've even seen Lyme disease in which somebody had a tick bite within the past month or something. Um, and Lyme serology is, if you don't know how to read them correctly, you, you'll get a lot of false uh, positive uh, people thinking that they have Lyme disease. Uh, that's a whole side note. Uh, but um, but you got to do all the, the work for rheumatoid arthritis because in the elderly, uh, rheumatoid arthritis can present differently. It doesn't just affect like the wrist and the, the knuckles, uh, the big knuckles of the hands. Uh, it can affect the shoulders and it can affect the... Uh, uh, the hips. So, you know, checking your rheumatoid factor. Now, listen, your rheumatoid factor has to be elevated because when you're 70 years old, your probability of having a low rheumatoid factor, you know, 14 through uh, 30 is pretty high. So I'm talking about a high rheumatoid factor. Uh, CCP, which is the best blood test we have for rheumatoid arthritis. And I use the 1433 uh, ETA, the ADA. So those three blood tests are the, the more specific ones for rheumatoid arthritis. So the other uh, factor when it comes to polymyalgia rheumatica is that when people present, it can be hard because they ache and you say, well, you know, you're 70 years old, you're not 25 anymore. Uh, and some people think about like fibromyalgia, but you have to, in general, you have to have high markers of inflammation. Those two markers are called the SED rate, the ESR and the CRP. Uh, generally, these are pretty high. Now. Polymyalgia rheumatica, when you give people prednisone, the goal is to get down to as much as, as little as possible. But on average, you know, some people need this for two or three years, a uh, low dose of prednisone. Uh, my goal is to always try to taper it pretty aggressively and have them off of it in six months. Uh, but a significant uh, portion of them uh, require for a long time. So uh, the problem with that is, as you know, prednisone is a wonderful drug and it's a terrible drug. Uh, it's wonderful because it helps your symptoms. It's terrible because it can cause all kinds of side effects. Now, the goal is to have people at five milligrams or less. If you have five milligrams or less, the side effect profile goes down dramatically. Uh, people are at higher risk for lots of different things, cataracts, uh, uh, diabetes, hypertension, uh, thinning of the skin, they bruise easier, and osteoporosis, So, uh, and also peptic ulcer disease. So that's kind of one of the reasons you want to get them as low dose as possible. There are some newer agents coming out and some that are in clinical trials so that we can get people off of steroids. But the one thing, the one caveat you got to remember when it comes to PMR is that, you know, there is a disease associated with PMR which can be terrible, cause blindness. Uh, and this is called giant cell arteritis or GCA temporal arteritis because people get a biopsy right here of the temporal artery. You don't really need this one. It doesn't end anywhere you got collateral so that's why we do a biopsy there but it actually affects the whole carotid area so people can wake up and they have difficulty chewing um they have uh, they can obviously go blind because the the artery to the the back of the eye can be affected um and they can have new headaches so if you have pmr um and let's say you have 100 people that have pmr well just a very small percentage it might be five percent may have gca so a lot of people with PMR, 
look out to make sure that they're not having symptoms of giant cell arteritis. So that's a pretty quick one for you. Um, again, it's Dr. Timothy Lineski with LC Rheumatology on the streets of Kentucky, uh, trying to give you a little knowledge. Thank you. Take care.